welcome to air force officer qualifying test prep online lesson series in instrument comprehension in this lesson we'll learn how to read artificial horizon and the compass and identify aircraft position by reading the artificial horizon and the compass so before you start make sure that you have a notebook and a pen so you could write some important information from the video and as always pause the video and try to practice by yourself make sure that you understand the concept and then download this application called AF OQT tutoring app from App Store or Google Play and it has like a more practice so that will help you to prepare for your AF OQT test so let's get started the AF OQT in instrument comprehension subset has 20 questions and you have only six minutes to answer the question is basically focused um, based on your ability to do assessment and determine an aircraft position in flight by reading the artificial horizon and the compass so you could see here this is the artificial horizon and this is called the compass in here right and you could see here um, you'll see have like four different options you have to pick which is the correct option let's learn some um, the terminology artificial horizon you could see this is the figure so um, this triangle is called index um, this is called the miniature air aircraft so th this thing is called miniature aircraft and um, and the, this one is called artificial horizon it could be like this orientation or it could be like that either one of those um the heading indicator so what is heading heading indicator you could see here the figure the aircraft is heading either north south east west north south northeast whatever direction it is um, heading to so that is called heading indicator the next is level flight so level flight means the um the aircraft is um is in flight in a level so you could see here um, the, the indication it will be like this and this and that right so that is uh, the indication of level flight so next thing is climbing right so if you consider this artificial horizon and um, and this is the index and you could see here um, aircraft is in um, climbing so it is going upward right same way descending so that means if the artificial horizon is above the miniature aircraft that means the aircraft is descending that means going down so it could be like this orientation this orientation or that orientation it doesn't matter next is left banking so if you see um, the figure look like that so that means if the index is the right side that means it is left banking next is right banking if the artificial horizon is is inclined and um and the index is the left side from the center so that means uh, the aircraft is banking right the next is heading direction that means what direction the aircraft is heading to it could be either west if you see here west this is north this is going to um northwest northwest and it is going to south east so you need to you need to tell what direction aircraft is moving to so let's do a couple of a uh, practice examples so um make sure that you fully understand so it says determine who is on of the four airplanes is the most nearly in the position indicated by the two dials okay um first of all so you could see here um, the the index is left side so that means um, aircraft is taking a right turn right and it also going to northeast and also um, the artificial horizon here you could see and the miniature aircraft is above the horizon that means it is climbing so the correct answer is c the aircraft is climbing taking a right turn and going towards the northeast next example 
same way look these two uh, figure um, determine which of the four airplanes is most nearly in the position indicated by the two dials so you could see here the aircraft is level flight how do you determine the flight is in level so this is the indication level flight and then taking left turn so why it's taking left turn because this is the index is right side right and is going towards the west so you see this that's going to, towards direct to the west there is another example let's do that so um you could see here these two figures the first of all the airplane is in level flight because you could see here this is level flight right and then taking a right turn so taking a right right turn that means the index is in the left side and it is also going towards the east so you know how to do that now there is another one you could see here you know here uh, the miniature air aircraft is uh, below the right below the horizon that means the aircraft is uh, descending right and as the index is um left side through the um through the center point that means it is taking a right turn and it also going to south east so you know how to find out there is another one the first of all it is above the horizon the miniature aircraft is above the horizon that means it is climbing and then the index is the right side that means it is taking left turn and it is going to north west there is a couple of practice problem in here so you try by yourself make sure that you fully understand there is another one take time and make sure that you understand the concept and if you want to practice more, so download this application called AF OQT Tutoring. As I mentioned at the beginning, beginning of the video, it has like a lot of practice, a lot of different combinations that will really help you to pass the um, test in that particular section.